Hey, what's happening guys? Chris here with another Battlefield 1 weapon guide for you today. And if you're a fan of the Assault class, then you're in luck. Because I'll be delving deep into the Assault Rank 10 weapon, the Hell Regal 1915, which is definitely one of the most interesting, mysterious, and most desired firearms in Battlefield 1's armory. So, over 100 years ago, back in the year of 1915, an Austro-Hungarian heavy submachine gun prototype was born into the world, named the Stansucha Hell Regal. It was a fully automatic, water-cooled machine gun which fired pistol calibre ammunition, and was one of the very first weapons which could have been considered as an SMG. Being such a rare and obscure gun with hardly any valid information on it carrying over to present day, there's a lot of stuff on the weapon that we simply just don't know. Though archive material does indicate that the gun was named after someone with the surname Hellregal, and it's thought that the weapon was possibly developed by the Austro-Hungarian Reserve Force, or by someone in it, around the time of the First World War. Almost all of the knowledge we can gather on the Hell Regal is from some really old photographs from the weapon being used in testing, and it can be seen using standard box magazines along with some pretty hefty drum magazines too. Although it's often thought to be a belt-fed gun, the drum magazine itself wasn't actually fixed to the receiver, and instead was connected to the weapon via flexible chute, with each round being propelled independently along the drum and feed chute by a spring. The Hell Regal had a water-cooled barrel encased in a leather jacket. Not to try and set up a fashion trend, but instead to hold water, which was filled and drained by a pair of ports, to reduce the gun's temperature and help it from overheating. The Hell Regal was probably planned as an offensive rather than defensive weapon due to its lack of bipod and overall design, and it seems that the gun never actually made its way past its prototype stages, and probably never actually saw much, if any, combat on the front lines, with it being made in such limited numbers. But anyway, hats off for DICE for managing to get the Hell Regal into the game. It was probably an absolute ball ache trying to get enough valid research to build this gun, with hardly any reference actually existing. So to use the Hell Regal in multiplayer, you're first going to have to reach Assault Rank 10, and this will then allow you to buy the gun with some of those in-game war bonds. There's only one version of the Hell Regal being available, the Factory variant, which kind of makes sense really, and this can be equipped on one of those Assault loadouts when it's unlocked. So, moving on, let's dive headfirst into those in-game stats. The first thing to point out is that the Hell Regal has exactly the same damage model as the MP18. So, damage-wise, each of those bullets are going to behave pretty much identically. Up to 15 meters, each round to the body is going to deal 23 damage. Though this is where damage starts to drop off over distance, down to just 13.5 beyond 39 meters. So if we translate this information over to how many bullets it's going to take to kill your opponents, up to 15 meters, you're going to need up to 5 successful hits to drop another player. Though beyond this, as the damage starts to decrease over distance, it could take up to 6, 7, and at those even longer ranges, 8 bullets to take them out. The gun's also got a fairly low muzzle velocity of 380 meters per second, which is the same as the Automatico, and combined with the fact that it doesn't deal a tremendous amount of damage at range, might make it less reliable against anyone in the distance. Though at range, it'll still be miles more effective than the Automatico, but with that slightly lower muzzle velocity than the MP18, targets might need to be led more by shooting slightly in front of them, in order for you to land those bullets successfully. One factor that gives the Hell Regal a slight edge over the MP18 is its faster rate of fire, shooting at a nice speed of 650 RPM, 100 rounds per minute more. It's not blazingly fast, but it's still steady, allowing you to stay on target and control that gunfire, with that slight speed advantage on your side too, beating nearly all of the other automatic guns in the game. It might not be spewing bullets out at crazy rates like the Automatico does, but 650 RPM is still pretty damn high, and it's often going to outgun most of the other weapons in the game at those close to medium ranges, including the Browning Rifle, which is the support category's fastest firing gun. Another awesome factor about the Hell Regal is the fact that you can hold 60 rounds per reload, which is quite a lot of bullets to have at any given time. When you're up in the front lines, you can continuously mow down squads of soldiers without the worry of running out of ammo, and those huge drum magazines are going to keep you going when you're overwhelmed at objective points. Though if you got into a bit of a habit of reloading after every kill, then these magazines might actually hinder you more than help, with reloads taking almost twice as long as other automatic assault weapons. As far as the Hell Regal's recoil pattern goes, there's an upwards kick of 0.28 and a horizontal kick of 0.266, which is fairly steady on the face of it, though perhaps not quite as accurate as the MP18, with that horizontal drift being slightly higher. Though because its vertical figure is generally low, the gun should seem very controllable, which might make it perform better in automatic fire, as it's not going to jolt upwards very much, and so overall, it'll probably seem quite stable and easy to use. 
Because of this low vertical recoil and the fact that it's got a fairly low first shot multiplier, you can tap and burst fire to deal with targets at range much more effectively than a lot of the other weapons. So although it might be fairly weak against enemies further away, landing your shots on targets in the distance can often be much easier whilst using the Hell Regal. Though it's still going to take a fair few bullets to kill at those longer ranges, and that low muzzle velocity isn't going to help here either. So in conclusion, the Hell Regal is a fast firing weapon capable of easily dispatching enemies one after the other with those weighty magazines. It's got a decent amount of damage at close to medium range, but further away it might seem pretty weak. Muzzle velocity is on the slower side, which might make leading targets over distance a bit harder to do. With that said, its recoil pattern is very controllable. Perhaps not as accurate as some of the other weapons, but because of those large magazines and fast fire rate, you can afford to miss a shot or two whilst the gun jolts around. It's generally best to tap fire your way to victory whenever coming up against someone out of the Hell Regal's effective range. And always keep an eye on your ammo count, because when the gun's running on empty, it's going to take a few extra seconds to reload that next mag over. But overall, it's a very strong and effective gun with a good balance between power, fire rate and accuracy, making it a very well-rounded weapon and a solid choice for advancing on enemy positions and attacking objectives. But anyway, that's just about it for this guide, hope you enjoyed it, give me a like if you did, and of course subscribe to stay updated with loads of new videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in that next one.